Hello and welcome to Trading 5 Talents. In today's video, I am going over the April 11th results for the weekly options list using their covered call screener. So this covered call screener, uh, as you know, is in addition to the cash secured put screener that um, the developer has on the website. The link is down in the description. So you can search for cash secured put plays for the week or you can search for covered call plays for the week. I did a whole series of reviews on cash secured puts already and you can find those on my channel. And here we are in the third week looking at the covered call list. So I have my filters down here, $5,000 limit. Um, so that's going to select strikes of $50 or less greater than $25 in premium, greater than 2% ROI, and no earnings. The other things that I'm also looking for, or I guess not looking for, is uh, those tickers that uh, have to do with volatility products, leverage products, futures. So I, I don't trade those. And once I screen for all of that, then I choose the first 10 that are listed and I only choose one strike per ticker symbol and that's what you see here on this spreadsheet. If you want a copy of this spreadsheet just um, you know for your own record keeping then there's a link down in the description. Uh, once you click on it just click on file then make a copy and then you can save it in your Google Drive. So let's look at this list for April 11th 2022. Top on the list is SST and this was also top on the list for uh, the option seller ROI.com's screener as well. So this was a popular trade for the week. You could see $25 strike price was suggested and the closing price uh, the week before was $23.28. It opened at uh, just under $23. Very large premiums, $2.15 uh, for this trade. You can see the rest of them are down here. And these are all paper trading uh, for me. I'm just tracking what the options and the stocks are doing. I don't actually have any money in this. So this is just for review purposes. So let's just go straight to the summary because uh, you guys know how this works already. You can see out of 10 trades, only two of them were assigned. So when it says no here, that means these options expired worthless. To be clear, if we looked at SST, we purchased it at $22.90. Um, you know, that's at market open Monday morning. And we sold a covered call for the $25 strike price and we received $2.15 in premium. So since it expired worthless, we kept all $2.15. We paid $22.90 per share. So $2.15 divided by $22.90, that would give us our 9.4 ROI. That's a very uh, good return uh, for one week's time. $215 uh, in one week, that, that's really good. Because it expired below the call strike price, that we sold, that means we still have, if you would have done this trade, you still have 100 shares at 2290. So the following week, you would sell, um, you would sell covered calls at 2290 or higher. You could see it closed at 2089. So it is, you know, two dollars, just about two dollars less than what you purchased it at. Um, but hopefully it will continue to go up and you can sell covered calls on it. All right. So that's what the no means here in terms of assigned. So I don't know if I mentioned it last week, but I did talk with a developer of the website and the way that the algorithm, uh, which now has a name, I believe it's called the Evolve algorithm. The way that the algorithm uh, chooses these is it assumes that you want to keep your shares. So it's considered a winner if the option expires worthless and you keep your shares. So if I were to assign a winner loser status, then all of these no's would be winners and the yeses would be the losers. So eight out of 10 were quote winners or the options expired worthless. So you got to keep your shares. Two of them uh, expired in the money. So let's look at these. So we'll start here. So this was UNG. The stock opened at 2287 Monday morning and then we would have immediately written a covered call at $23. So again, this is the buy right strategy. And then we would have received 75 cents in premium. Now the stock closed at $25.57, so about $3 higher than what we purchased it at. Now, if you just would have bought and held the stock, um, you could have made almost $300. But again, when you sell options, you're not uh, in it for the capital gains necessarily, the, the stock appreciation. You're in it for capturing the premium. We would not have known that the stock was going to go up. All right. We just want to know that we're going to get this $75 in premium, whether or not the stock goes up or down. All right. That's the idea of selling options. So um, it started at $22.87, ended at $25.57, but we agreed to sell these shares at $23 a piece. That's the idea of covered calls. So we got the $75 plus we have the $13 from 
buying at 2287, selling at 23. So 75 plus 13, that's $88 in total profit for this trade. And then we have all of our money back in cash. All right, down here, uh, what was this one? This one was open. This one was purchased at 710, and then we immediately sold a covered call at 750, and we gained $19 in premium. The stock closed at 881. So again, if you just would have bought and held the stock, you would have made a nice profit, um, but that's not what this strategy is all about. So we bought it at 710, agreed to sell it at 750 if it closed above 750, which it did. So we would have gained 40 cents here, so 710, buy 750 sell 40 cents plus this 19 cents so that would have been 59 cents or 59 dollars for this trade in terms of profit so again whether or not this column here where it has the red nose and green yeses whether or not it's assigned and whether or not you consider it a winner or a loser you're going to make profit um, using this type of strategy. The, the downside of this strategy is is you could be holding these shares uh, for a while. If these options keep expiring out of the money, you keep on holding the shares and the shares could depreciate. So there's a lot of other uh, things you could do if you're bag holding some of these shares. I have a video. I'll put a link up at the top of the video to show um, some ideas what you could do, how to get out of the position that uh, you're bag holding. That's one of the caveats to the wheel strategy, or at least to the cover call portion of it. Um, you might be bag holding, but that's a risk. Uh, with any options trading strategy, there's always risk. That's one of the risks here with covered calls and also capping your profits. So in some cases, just buying and holding would have netted more money. But again, you have to make sure that you know the exact direction the stock is going to move. And then you have to make sure that you lock in your profits. But with a covered call strategy, the stock could go up, it could go down. The option could expire in the money or out of the money, and you're still making profit. So uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Catch me on Twitter at Trading5Talents. And if you like these videos, these reviews, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Click on subscribe button so you can catch more of these updates. Until next time, trade wisely and take care.